please subscribe and visit our website, VictoryForHope.com. Hey there, and welcome to this week's episode of Love, Lunch, and Lex. This is a spinoff of my Friday night streams, Tarot After Dark, more family friendly, okay? If you have not already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I post new content and when I go live anytime because sometimes I go live at random and do random readings and videos and things of that nature. So you're going to want to be notified when I do those, okay? So um, also, real quick, if you would like to reach me directly, my website is going to be in the description box. Okay, so this week we're going to talk about three keys to successful dating, okay? Now, I'm not saying that this is going to guarantee that you get married, but it's going to help you pick better um, mates, better partners, and it's also going to help prepare you to be the type of spouse or partner that you would like and need to be so that you're attracting the right type of people to you and so that you can have more success in dating and not um, waste your time or anyone else's time, okay? So the first key we're going to talk about is having, setting, and stating clear intentions, okay? You have to verbally state and speak what it is you need and what you want out of this experience. If you were just out here to have fun, if you just broke up with someone and you're not ready to jump into anything, you need to let the person know what to expect from you and what not to expect from you, okay? Be honest, okay, about what it is you can compromise on, okay? I have certain needs, very specific needs that those are not, I'm not compromising on, okay? I got to have that, okay? My must-haves, my deal breakers. Make sure that you are making those very, very clear, okay, in the beginning. And so you're not out here three, four years down the road on and off with someone in a situation and you still don't know where you stand with them, okay? That's going to help you prevent getting in those types of positions, okay? Um, and then... Once you decide, OK, if this person does something that I may not be used to, is that something that I can compromise on? If they live at a distance, am I willing to move if this turns serious? If I fall in love with this man, am I willing to move to go be with him? I have a child. Um, does he have children? What's the situation with, you know, his children and the uh, other parent? That sort of thing It's very key things that you may or may not be able to compromise about. And those are just examples. OK, and then once you have determined and made your intentions clear, then you need to make a move. And that's a move either forward with this person getting to know them or a move away to someone that is going to be better uh, suited for you and more compatible with you and what it is that you're wanting out of your life. OK. All right. The next key is uh, clear affirmations. OK, this is very important because this is the inner work on yourself. OK, sometimes we be the problem, y'all. OK, nobody's perfect and there is always room for improvement. So your affirmations is going to be one of those tools that you can use for that inner work that you need to do on yourself, okay? I'm going to share a couple of my um, Living Reiki Healing Cards by Penelope Quest. If you're interested in these cards, I got them from Barnes & Noble. They are Living Reiki Healing Cards is the name of them, okay? And what uh, Miss Penelope had to say about clear affirmations, she says, decide what it is you wish to work on, then create simple, clear affirmations or goals in the present tense as if they were already in existence, okay? So don't say I want or I wish or I hope because that's keeping you still out of reach of where it is that you're trying to go. So you have to speak it like it is. I am, I have, um, those sort of things, right? And so she does give an example um, such as I have the perfect job, which is fun, fulfilling, 
and financially rewarding. And then allow yourself to visualize your life as it will be once you have re- achieved that goal. OK, so something you could say, I am a business owner. I have the house of my dreams. I have the job of my dreams. I have a flexible working schedule, that sort of thing. And two of my favorite um, affirmation starters are I am because that is powerful. You know, that that's that's the God in you. I am. Uh, I don't know the exact verse, but it is somewhere in the book of Exodus when uh, it talks about how Moses went on top of Mount Sinai. Yes. To go retrieve the Ten Commandments. And he asked God when um, the people asked who it is that sent me, what do I tell them? What do we call you? And God told Moses, tell them I am sent you. Okay. All right. So that is my favorite one. And I also like to use, I am certain that is affirming, confirming and sealing the deal. I am certain that the perfect man for me will find me. I am certain that I will be a married woman. I am certain that, um, I have the perfect job. I am certain that all of my desires are met. Those sort of things, okay? And then when you start doing that, you start shifting your own energy and that of those around you. When you are around certain people, think about it. The longer you're around them, you start picking up some of their habits. You start picking up some of their verbiage. You start picking up um, their energy, I have a lot of friends, a lot of different personalities, and depending on which one I'm talking to, is a different side of Lex that's going to come out because of that friend. That's that's the type of bond that I have with that particular friend, okay? So make sure that your energy and where you're shifting your own personal inner self, that is right because that's what's going to come to you. If you're always grumpy and cranky, you're going to attract people in situations that are going to continue putting you in a grumpy and cranky mood. You don't want all that. Once you have higher vibrations, you attract those that have the same or um, or similar type of energy. OK, and the third uh, key that we're going to talk about today is positive expectations. So it is not enough to. Just, you know, tell people what you need and what you want. It's not enough to do your affirmations. You have to believe and expect that the things that you need and want are already happening. That the powers that be are working behind the scenes to get you what it is that you need, what you want. Okay. Got to believe it. It got to be in here because you can do all the affirmations you want to. You can carry all the crystals you want to. You can pray all you want to. You can beg all you want to. But you have to believe that it is on the way or that it is already working. Again, remember, I told y'all the uh, physical and the spiritual realms run parallel to each other. So you got to make sure you are in alignment. okay? and. um, What I was going to say, oh, it's going to share my my next Penelope Quest card. Okay, so what she says about positive expectations, she states expectation is a powerfully attractive force. Expect the things you want and don't expect the things you don't want. Example, if you got an ex that keep popping in and out of your life. You got to expect that that person's going to stay gone because, you know, they have absolutely no positive intentions or expectations for you or a committed relationship with you. Okay. also, if you know you don't want a job that works on weekends, don't focus on. Well, I don't want to work weekends. I don't want to work weekends. Focus on. I only work. And then whatever days it is that you do want to work, not what you don't want. Well, I don't want them. I don't want a a woman that don't cook. Well, don't worry about that. Only worry about women that do cook. You see what I'm saying? Okay. 
All right. So from the perspective of the law of attraction, what you resist, you attract because you are powerfully focused on it with emotion. So if there are things you don't want in life and you keep resisting them by constantly thinking you don't want them, you actually um, are either going to bring them into your lives or you're keeping them there. So what is currently happening if you don't want that situation anymore and you keep focusing on, oh, I don't have any money right now or I don't have a job right now, you're going to stay un- uh, broken, jobless. OK. All right. So what I am going to do now is pull one of my whispers and live Oracle cards. And what we are asking for here is how to attract more love into our lives, how to be more loving to ourselves and to others, and also how to maintain and sustain any existing loving relationships that we currently have, okay? And don't be afraid, y'all, to ask what you want. You have to, uh, as you, as they say, approach the throne with confidence and boldly expecting that what you desire, you deserve it and you have to believe it. Matthew 7 and 7 says, ask and it shall be given. Seeking ye shall find knock and it will be open unto you. But you got to make the move. You got to affirm it and you got to expect it. Okay. All right. So. This is number, I'll show you the card and then I will go through the description on it. This is number 18 and it says, embrace your emotions, embrace your emotions. And it says, don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Feelings and emotions are part of who we are. Allow yourself to feel what is going on for you. Your feelings signal you to the truth of a situation. Take positive steps to determine why you are feeling the way you feel. If you are in a situation that are a thought or an emotional state that you cannot seem to get yourself out of, break it down. Go to the source of your feelings. Go to the source of the situation and then start clear intentions clear affirmations, and then the positive expectations so that you can move to a better feeling or better situation. Okay, darlings. All right. That is going to be this week's episode. Love, lunch, and Lex. I thank you so, so much for tuning in with me. Please subscribe. If you have not already hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I do go live, my website is going to be in the description. If you would like to book any sessions with me or purchase products. I have really cute things like this bracelet I'm wearing here and um, jewelry, herbs, essential oils, all of the things that you need to carry out your personal things at home. Okay. Love you. Till next week. Take care.